Hello everyone, welcome to part 7 of Laravel interview question series of 202425 edition. So we are going to cover the typical questions in this part. Okay, so these questions are having a chance 4 out of 5. So these are really important questions that the interviewer may ask. So please take it seriously and let's start. So the first question is, how do I register a middleware in Laravel 11? So in Laravel 11, uh, we can't uh, register a middleware in the same way like we used to do in the previous versions of Laravel. There is no kernel.php file uh, located as HTTP folder. Okay, so, uh, so let's see the answer right now. See in Laravel 11, you cannot register in the kernel.php uh, the middlewares anymore. However, there is the other way to register the middleware. Okay, so like I have told you uh, that there is no kernel.php uh, uh, so anymore and we can't register the middleware in kernel.php but there is a separate file uh, in which we can register the middleware. Let's see which file it is. If you want it to be triggered in every call, you can append it to the bootstrap slash app.php. So, you can see the separate file. That file name is the app.php located in Bootstrap. So in Laravel 11, uh, there is the file app.php located in Bootstrap folder. In that file, you can register the middleware. Okay, so uh, let's see further. See, see, this is the syntax to register the middleware. Here in this file, you can see uh, with middleware function, middleware status. So here inside this, uh, you are going to uh, going to add your middleware class okay so we are going to see it practically see in laravel 11 e-commerce website we have used this middleware okay so i'm going to show you in our laravel 11 project that we have uh, done okay in uh, with laravel and mongodb so here i'm going to open here the app.php file here you can see uh, from here as well uh, there is uh, the file uh, that is the app.php file under bootstrap okay under bootstrap you can see the app.php file and under app.php file here under this with middleware class you can see uh, here we have defined the admin middleware okay so uh, we have uh, registered the admin middleware actually we have created the admin middleware inside the middleware folder you can see we have created the admin middleware and we have registered that admin middleware inside app.php file and here it is this is the syntax for listing the middleware okay admin middleware okay so here you can see that we able to register the admin middleware like this okay so i hope that you understand this thing uh, so this is the thing that uh, uh, laravel 11 introduced for the first time so let's see the next question What is reverse routing in Laravel? Okay, so what is reverse routing in Laravel? So such kind of questions interviewer often ask, okay, because uh, uh, many of the uh, uh, Laravel developers uh, not use uh, uh, it uh, in routine. So that's why uh, they know about it and they ask about it. Okay, so let's see its answer. Reverse routing in Laravel is the process of generating the URL based on name or symbol. It defines the relationship between the links and Laravel routes. Name routes helps in generating Laravel reverse routes by giving the name to the routes. Okay, so it means that we can give the name to any route. The routes that we used to define in web.php uh, for website or in, uh, in api.php in app.php for the APIs, okay? So all these routes, we can name these routes so that we can use it at several places, okay? So uh, further, uh, suppose we want to change user account URL from user slash account to user slash profile everywhere in the website. If we are using name routes for user slash account route, then we need to make change only at one place in route in web.php file. Otherwise, we need to go through and manually required to do at many places. Okay, so see here, see it clearly tell that uh, if we are going to uh, make this change, okay, uh, if we are going to make any change in route, then we are going to do it at uh, many places. Okay, 
So, so to avoid that, we can simply change the route in web.php file. Okay, like if we are changing the name, uh, that link of that particular route, uh, we have used that in 10, 15 pages. Uh, uh, otherwise, if, if in case we want to change the link, we want to change the name of the link, then we are required to do at all the places. But with the name route, you will just do at one place in web.php file. We are going to see its example right now, how to use reverse routing in Laravel. Okay, so uh, see example, we are going to see. Uh, first, we define a name route. Laravel routes are defined in your route files, which are located in the routes directory. Here's how you might define a route for a user account. Okay, so see here, we have defined this route in web.php file, uh, like uh, user slash account is the URL and here we have added this name uh, account so this is the name of the of this route and name of the of this route is account okay so we will simply require to to call this route with this name here see how we can call this route once you have named route you can generate urls to that route using the global route function okay so we can simply call this route anywhere in any of the file like this like the, this variable will have this URL, user slash account. So if you have used this at 10, 15 places, at multiple places, then if you want to change the URL to uh, from user slash account to user slash profile, then you are just required to do it here at one place because you have de declared uh, with the name everywhere. You have, uh, you have called it with the name only. This is the name only, okay? Uh, so you can just require to change it at one place otherwise if you have just specified this route like user slash account at 10 15 pages at the multiple pages then you are required to do you you are required to go at every place and need to change it but here you are just required to change in web file and it will get uh, uh reflected it, it in all places okay so i hope that it understand uh, that you understand this concept <clears throat> okay so let's see the next question What are packages in Laravel? Okay, so the packages are really important. We used to install so many packages in Laravel in e-commerce website as well. We have installed so many packages. Without packages, it is impossible to run any of the Laravel website. I don't think that it is possible uh, to make the website in Laravel without packages. Okay, so let's see what are the packages uh, exactly. Packages are standalone source code which developers can import into their projects using a package management tool like Composer, okay? Instead of manually copying and testing the package file into your project, developers only need to import the package and call it anywhere in their project. Okay, so like I have explained you that uh, uh, this, uh, these packages are really important for every Laravel project. So it is uh, the package, like the, we can say the third party software that we can able to embed in our Laravel website, okay? So every package has its own role. Uh, and we used to install it with the composer okay so uh, so the composer itself is a package management tool that help us to install such kind of packages in our laravel website okay so uh, so let's see further that uh, what uh, list some examples of packages in laravel so we're going to see the examples some of the most common packages are intervention mart website dom pdf passport so all these packages we have done earlier in our e-commerce series a lot of times we have done in our e-commerce series intervention we have used for the images for resizing the images for uploading the images mart website we have used for uh, for importing exporting the excel file dom pdf we have used for generating the pdf and passport we have used for generating the tokens for the apis for the app okay in rect app also we have done this passport so all these we have done earlier as well. See here, intervention for image resign, mod website for exporting data to Excel, DOM PDF for generating PDF, passport for API authentication. Okay, so you are required to install such packages if you want to work with Laravel. Okay, so let's see. See separate video you can see in video detail. I have provided a separate video of these packages uh, that how to use these packages in Laravel. Okay. So let's see the next question how to clear cache in laravel so many times we are required to clear the cache in laravel so there are different commands that we can run artisan command that we can run for our projects that will clear the cache in laravel we can run below artisan commands to clear cache in laravel php artisan cache clear p 
php addition config clear php addition view clear okay so we can run these commands to clear the cache in laravel so sometimes the interviewer ask uh, such kind of basic questions uh, that uh, everyone must uh, know that every every laravel developer must know about it okay so uh, so that's all for now so uh, i hope that every question is clear to you and you able to prepare uh, for your laravel interview uh, by following this part and very soon in the upcoming videos we are going to do uh, many more interview questions okay so please stay tuned that's all for now have a nice time goodbye